Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Windows 11 23H2 Moment 5 update, which has just been released. As we've talked about in previous videos, the Moment 5 update for Windows 11 23H2 is a feature update that Microsoft is releasing, which includes a few new interesting features for Windows 11, and of course, it is releasing for Windows 11, the main release today on February 27th. In this video, we're gonna go through the process of installing or getting this new update, the Moment 5 update. Also, we're gonna talk about briefly about the new features and most likely tomorrow I'm going to make an updated video in which we'll talk about all the new features from the Moment 5 update. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all to get the Moment 5 update you have to open up the settings app and then go into Windows update and here make sure to check get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they roll out. Enable this and then click on check for updates. Basically, you need to enable this because right now Microsoft is releasing this update as an optional update. And if you don't check this, most likely you won't get it. But if you check that, you'll get this update. And it should be a pretty quick install because Microsoft has improved the installation time for feature updates. And basically, you might just need a restart and a fast installation process to get all the latest features on your computer. Now, of course, we've talked about this update before, as I've said, and there were some questions regarding the name of it, but we can still call it the Moment 5 update because Microsoft is sticking to a major Windows 11 version per year and in between that smaller feature updates which can include a lot of new interesting and useful features such as the Moment 5 update. We've had Moment 1, Moment 2, Moment 3, Moment 4 and today we're getting the Moment 5 update for Windows 11 23H2. Now I'm just gonna briefly mention some of the new features but as I've said I'm gonna make an updated video in which we'll talk about all the new improvements inside the Moment 5 update. First of all users should get the new European economic area changes inside this update. A lot of users got it earlier, but a lot more users should be getting it with the Moment 5 update. Basically, this means that Microsoft had to make some changes inside the operating system, such as letting you uninstall Windows apps, such as the Microsoft Edge. You'll see more labels being shown inside the operating system. So for example, you'll easily know which apps and files are system files, and you're gonna be able to change default apps easier inside this update with these changes for the European economic area. This update is an update that focuses a lot on the narrator and also on the voice access apps with new UIs, new improvements, new languages supported. For voice access, we have custom commands, which is a pretty interesting new feature that I'm going to showcase in a future video with which you can create a custom command that will control your system. For example, control an application using your own voice. In this update, you're getting a lot of improvements related to the settings app, for example, in nearby sharing and also inside the sharing section of the file explorer. For example, recently installed stored apps will be grouped inside the recommended section inside the start menu. We also have Windows 365 changes and improvements, for example, put updates and also switch updates with a dedicated mode, improved disconnect experience, customizable login page, and more. We also have improvements to the task manager, such as a new process grouping feature, which will allow task manager to be more reliable, and certain updates for certain apps. For example, you're going to notice new Microsoft Store updates, also a new Notepad app update, which will show character count, and also a new edit with Notepad button inside the operating system. Also with this update, you're going to notice that Copilot will be moved to the right side of the taskbar so more users will notice this. And also we're getting some new improvements to phone link which will allow you to easily edit photos taken or screenshots taken from your phone using the snipping tool app. But more info about these features will be in a future video that I'm going to do most likely tomorrow. So this is it for this video. As I've said, a quick recap. We've talked about the Windows 11 Moment 5 update which was released to the main release as an optional update. And we've talked about briefly about some of the new features that you can encounter in this build. For more information, make sure to check out the article below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.